Hey guys, um, making a La Mise here. Okay, so I've got shredded carrots, brown sugar. I had my grinder and my grinder broke that seal right there. Didn't know that happened. Pop right apart and a whole bunch of rock. Um, my pink rock salt went into there and I had to like piece by piece find it. Like, because big chunks don't work. Anyways, brown sugar, untoasted sesame. I like toasting them. Carrots, raisins. Over there is yeast. The brown right there is high gluten flour. Okay. And then we had the salt on this side. Yeast that side. Yeast that side. Salt this side. Okay. And then underneath we have three cups of, um, uh, of, of bread flour. We got three cups of. Uh, oh, hi. Three cups of bread flour um, and about a half a cup of rye and about a half a cup of AP and then about all together maybe an ounce and a half of high gluten. Real powerful stuff. So that's what we're going to start with. What I like doing is I'm going to, um, this is the way I like to do it, okay? Um, if my salt was working right, I would have taken all that right first and then my raisins, right? No, oh, I'm sorry. Here, there you go. See, and then I do that first to get this sugar on top of my raisins and on top of my carrots, okay? And oh, that's right. I want to bring the flavor of my sugar out a little bit with hot smoked paprika. Heat brings out sweet. And we also have some honey left over there, a little vanilla. All right, but we're going to go like that. Now we're going to add that yeast in. All right, get the salt all in. All right, now there's all our dry mix. Okay, simple as that. Let's move you guys down here. Ah. Uh. Had to quite the interesting visit with my one of my doctors today and he went from doing calculus while he worked on me which he first did when he first looked at me he looked at my brain he did everything man and then he checked my body all different ways all these different movements and I mean he was doing calculus man rocket science man he was like looking for an answer and then suddenly it became all the doctors in um, Peace Health while I was on the bridge program which is a um, a uh, welfare program decided that I was mentally ill and not physically ill. Now I have a doctor who says, oh my gosh, this guy's physically ill and we understand semi what's going on with his physical ailment. We understand how his body works in such a strange manner and he actually knows it rather well. And lo and behold, all the doctors who did work for free or were not part of Peace Health say it's all part of my neck and it's all part of my muscle skeletal issue. Hmm. So why would a doctor do $10,000 worth of work for free and then say it's my neck and then while everybody else who is over here made to do it for free because I'm on the bridge program welfare, they do all these minor tests and then they say, oh, well, here, take psychotics. Well, the psychotics didn't do anything for six months. So, you know, not a circle I like to go around. And just the way I was treated today, you know, I mean, after the beating, I, we want, I, I asked him, I said, look, I got hit here, I got hit in the middle of the spine and up in the neck when they did the violent, you know, and they didn't, they weren't no jokes about it. They was, they was stomping on a nigga. <laughs> they were stomping on a nigga. Y'all hear me? Nigga was getting stomped. <laughs> and with a crowd, a whole bunch of white people was watching. <laughs> I love my neighbors. The neighbors who is righteous, the ones who's got the... Like, some of them won't even say they were there. Some of them make jokes about it. Oh, yeah, you get beat up by the cops today? Like, that's a real funny joke, man. I don't understand why that's funny. You know what I mean? I don't think my son thought that was funny on his 25th birthday. Not, I don't know if he knew, but... I knew he knew before he was born because his dad never came home. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. 25 years ago. And then look at the number that 13 that follows me. Yeah.
They beat me <laughs> on January 13th, 1990, and they beat me 2015 during a full-blown collapse seizure. I was face down, man. I could not move. It wasn't until they started attacking and grabbing me that I started seizing and trying to gain control of my seizures and all that. Well, anyway, so, so what we're doing with this bread, see, I keep adding the water, and um, now I'm going to add my... A little touch of vanilla because I'm doing wet right now you know and then you know I've had times in jail and prison which are probably some of the best times in my life because I was stable because I was learning about myself and I was becoming better because I had brothers like you wouldn't believe you know what I mean but I gotta say these these times were not in so much as cells, right? As they were at the work camps and the boot camps programs and how I learned through their programs and through continual the tools that they gave me and I mean really what they teach ouch. My hand's broken. I shouldn't be using that hand at all. <laughs> and look, I'm cooking and wearing black. They teach you in cognitive is really a really monumental compared to the regular human. You realize how many people are walking around with um, criminal thinking errors constantly. And they're constantly putting up some kind of facade or another. It doesn't matter if they're criminals or not. It's just a, it is a human uh, thinking error. Blah, blah, blah. It's the best, man. <laughs> really. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take that wet mess right there. I'm going to put it right on that pile right there. I'm going to scrape the bowl. So, we have a way to go, you know. Well, what we got now is a police force that all is in the same color. So, they're an army. Um, and they're shooting people as crazy as shooting a pregnant woman inside a car. Through a car window. Shooting a homeless man, right, after they tased him. Another man just, uh, another officer just got a um, grand jury said murder for the shooting of an unarmed Afro-American as he ran away. We're certain we're going to see the same thing about the unarmed Afro-American who threw his hands up and said don't shoot and was filmed in front of like 30 or 40 or 50 people being shot down by the police. This is not what we want. <laughs> There is no form of social institution of pro-society that in any form, in any community, in any civilization on this planet where I see this as a viable solution to the community. What it looks like is the beginnings of civil war. What you have is blights against the people that they will not, under, uh, not withstand. And we're just not going to deal with it, all right? I know y'all have been thinking about killing me for a long time, and you've tried repeatedly. You know what I mean? That beating was, the, you know, that was your best shot. That was pretty weak. I would think at least you'd handcuff me and take me and throw me off the bridge or something. But anyways, not that you guys need any ideas. <laughs> and I don't want any either. Then I'm a pretty good swimmer, and I've done a lot of high diving, so you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I could go off the high dive when I was three years old. I've cliff dived over 70, 60 feet. I've also done some splash diving, which is some crazy ass stuff. That's where you dive off of, uh, let's say, 30 feet into four feet of water. <laughs> splash diving. <laughs> You better have a very, very upper, strong upper torso is all I got to say in a very, very strong midsection to handle that. <laughs> Y'all be like, what is he talking about? Four feet of water? Yeah, go look at the world record guy who was jumping into a, a, a foot of water at 72 feet. <laughs> yeah, that pops was crazy. Well, anyways, man, look. Break it down. You got officers who decide... To start watching their community, okay, instead of busting heads, they start getting involved in the community. The community gets involved with the inmates and saying, okay, we want these citizens because they are citizens. And the vast majority of them are of minority and poor and white. 
especially in small town white America, man, they all white, you know, and then they got all the black, and they were like, is that guy Mexican? Get him, do. <laughs> I ain't trying to be hardcore, I'm just trying to tell it how it is, man, I'm trying to tell it how it is. So what are we going to do? There's only one thing for us to do, man. It's like the only one thing that, 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 that you know, honor requires that we do something for a community. There's our, I'm going to spin it like that so I get the oil nice and even around the edges. I can't show you. You see how I'm doing it, right? And then I'm going to pop her in the oven, which was already warm. I'm going to warm it up a little bit more. And I'm just going for the bench proof right now. All right. So, how many officers out there just want to kill niggers, smash heads, throw dudes in jail, give tickets, be powerful, and their dog bites them when they get home? Raise your hand. Who wants to be a real asshole and kill me? Raise your hand. Okay. Who wants... To create a better community, to walk down the street and know that they're going to be looked at as a noble man. What cop wants his ghetto community that he's there every day in, busting heads in, to suddenly change to a better neighborhood? And the children start to learn. Shit, man. Tenfold point program, Black Panthers, Hell's Angels taking care of their own, all the MCs taking care of their own, all families taking care of their own. Aren't we Americans? Aren't you? How come we ain't taking care of our own, man? You need to take care of your own, too. Feel me? This war has got to stop, man. Niggas is dying. White folks is dying. Ronnie hated it when I used this word because this is the word I used for 14 years because I hated being white or black. I was a nigonkey. So all the nigonkeys, <laughs> y'all, chill. Peace in the streets. Peace up Exodus. Find that way. Here upon these words, peace is giving power, man. Look at something new. Look at something new, man. Soldier up, honor up, noble up, and look for something new. When do we mold the youth? When do we mold the youth? Right now. Peace up, man. Gonna be some good bread.